just got back from vacation where I was at a graduation party for my nephew and this came up and you may have heard about this too, a global shortage of helium which affect the effects of which go far beyond inflating balloons. But we've seen conflicting information on whether or not there is actually a worldwide shortage of helium. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu is here to verify. Helium may provide fun at birthday parties and hilariously high voices, but it's no laughing matter. The noble gas is a key element in medical and technological advancements. It's very useful in MRIs, so magnetic resonance imaging that you find in hospitals. The source for helium on Earth comes from the decay of radioactive minerals like uranium and thorium. The U.S. extracts it out of natural gas and stores a majority of it in a federal underground reserve in Texas, where it's later auctioned off. But recent price jumps have many wondering if we're facing a global helium shortage. There was an auction uh, from the Federal Helium Reserve in September of 2018. That was the, the last auction that they had. And the price of helium sold for 135% over what it did uh, the previous year. But experts say it's not helium as a whole that's depleting. It's the helium that's already been mined in the reserve. The reserves that we have are getting depleted, but that's because we haven't put much effort into restocking them. Other countries like Qatar, Russia, Tanzania, and in the Middle East also have underground areas where helium is constantly being made. Experts say it's just a matter of mining it and stocking up. Helium's the second most common element in the entire universe. There's lots out there. Um, but it's all underground, and so it's expensive to mine. 13 on your side can verify that we are not in the midst of a global helium shortage. But in the U.S., we are the leading consumers of helium, so it's a financial matter over what we'll have to pay to mine that heavy demand. It comes down to uh, if we put in the money to, um, to mine more and whether it's worth mining all that much more when instead we could just use regular air-filled balloons.